in this session we will be doing part 5 of chapter 2 nature of proposition here we will be doing the third type of truth functional compound proposition that is disjunctive proposition when i say i will either get paid or not get paid so either or is the connective use then it is a disjunctive proposition so when two propositions are joined together by the truth functional connective either or it is called as a disjunctive proposition propositional connective used is either or and its shorter expression or is used logical constant used here is small v that is called as wedge it is a dyadic or binary connective the symbolic form is p wedge q its component statements are called disjuncts and its connective is called disjunction example either rekha is fair or dark second she is wise or timid. Symbolic form will be F wedge T. Second, W wedge T. Disjunction is used in two senses. First is inclusive or weak sense of disjunction. When both the disjuncts can be true together, then the disjunction is said to be used in weak sense. Example, Rajvi is a doctor or a social worker. That is, when we affirm the first disjunct, there is no need to deny the second. Both can be true together. Now, here the word or is used in weak sense because both the components can be true together. Second, Mihir is either a pilot or a father. Here also the word or is used in weak sense because Mihir is a pilot. Can be true with he being a father. So when we affirm that he is a pilot, we, there is no, we cannot deny that he is a father. So, both can be two together. So, here the word or for the disjunction is used in weak sense. Now, we come to strong sense or exclusive sense of disjunction. When both the disjuncts cannot be two together, the word or is said to be used in strong sense. So, when we affirm one, we have to deny the other disjunct. In that case, disjunction will be used in strong sense. So the word either or will be used in strong sense. Either it is an odd number or an even number. Here, or is used in strong sense or exclusive sense because when we affirm that it is an odd number, we will have to deny that it is an even number. Means if the first disjunct is true, then the second has to be false. Either it is a fruit or a vegetable. Here also the word or or the disjunction is used in strong sense because if it is a fruit then we will have to deny that it is a vegetable. And if it is a vegetable then we will have to deny that it is a fruit. So both cannot be two together. So the disjunction is used in exclusive or strong sense. Truth value of a disjunctive statement. A disjunctive statement is true when at least one of its disjunct is true. That is, any one side is true, one of its disjunct is true, then it is sufficient for it to be true. And it is false only under one condition, that is, when both the disjuncts are false. So, you must remember the truth value. Let us see the basic truth table. A disjunctive statement is true when at least one of the disjunct is true. That means any one disjunct is true for it is sufficient for it 
to be true means the whole statement disjunctive statement will be true when any of its disjunct or the component part is true so in the first case both are true obviously then the disjunction will be true in the second case the left disjunct is true so it will be true in the third case the right disjunct is true so obviously it will be true and it is false only under one condition that is when both the disjuncts are false in the next session we will be studying the fourth and the fifth type of truth functional compound statement or proposition thank you